Now, while hundreds of thousands of Egyptians take to the streets of Cairo to protest President Mohamed Morsi's a mitigated power grab, President Obama and the White House are cowardly, refusing to condemn these dictator-like actions. Now, listen to this exchange between Press Secretary Jay Carney and NBC's Chuck Todd at the Daily Briefing yesterday. You're not condemning it. To parse this, you're not condemning what he's doing. I, I, I certainly don't have any. I don't have any you new have language to give to you today on how our view on it is. If but one I of us wrote or said the White House is criticizing President Morsi. Would you say that was in an incorrect? I would say that we uh, are concerned about it and have raised those concerns. And joining me with reaction from the American Islamic Forum for Democracy, Dr. Zudi Jasser, and Chicago Executive Director of the Council on American Islamic Relations, Ahmed Rehab, is with us. And uh, guys, welcome uh, to the program. Uh, Thanks, Sean. Ahmed, do you view this as a power grab? Is this the democracy that everybody was talking about, the Muslim Brotherhood that rushed to Hamas's side uh, after the rockets were being fired into Israel? Well, in the case of uh, Hamas and Israel, actually the Muslim Brotherhood-led Egyptian government was the reason why a truce was reached. Um, so I don't know why. But, they, but the prime minister went context. to Hamas but, in solidarity but to answer your question with them directly and stood there. In terms of, in well, terms let me, of let me the correct the record. In Egypt, they went in there in solidarity in Egypt, with, 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 with um, Hamas. The Egyptian people are capable of fighting for their own democracy. We took to the streets to, to bring about a revolution that overthrew a dictator. Is this We're a, not going to let another one come in its place. All right. So this is a guy that's referred to the Israelis as animals. He stood by as people called for the destruction of Israel. Uh, and this is a 9-11 truther, the guy you're looking at on the screen right there, uh, President I, I don't Morsi. know where you get your facts, Sean. I don't know if this is uh, just pull out anything out of your mind and throw it out there. This is the game we're playing. Um, he's a man who brought a truce to Israel. He brought safety and security to the region. He will be the reason you why call the this peace safety process and security? is being this, born again. You call this safety and I'm security? Calling the, truce. the Muslim I'm calling Brotherhood the, the a terrorist truce. organization that yes, supports I'm calling, Hamas? I'm calling the truce security. Dr. Look, Jasser, the, the I stand in, I stand, excuse me, hang on. I stand in Dr. opposition. Jasser, Dr. Jasser. So it's, it's, the Hamas, which has in its charter that calls for the destruction of Israel, and Morsi supports them, and the Brotherhood is a terrorist organization, that's democracy? Absolutely not. And this is where this administration, as you see with Jay Carney and Clapper, who call them a secular organization and others, they not only have no comprehension of Islamism, they have allowed them to hijack this revolution, which was about the Egyptian people that now are coming back to the streets to try to regain their freedom from an oppressor, which is the Islamists, which are worse than Mubarak because they're dictators on steroids that have a religious mandate of theocracy. And Morsi is worse than Mubarak. He's already sat with Ahmadinejad. He's working with the terrorist organization. In Hamas and people like Mr. Rehab and this administration don't have the courage to speak out against Islamism, which many devout Muslims do. There are many Muslims on the streets that don't want the Islamists running their society. And unfortunately, we have people like Ahmed and this administration that don't have the courage to articulate liberty in the region and stand behind the people in the street and in front of them and lead Dr. change, Jasser, real change is for this democracy. The, is this period, is it going to be viewed as the rise of the radical Islamists and we are, and under Obama and Hillary Clinton, they are getting empowered by the United States? Ab Absolutely. We no, are completely that, that, that useless. Not the case. American soft power, American not the soft case. power has uh, disappeared the in the region, and we are not advancing freedom so at all. So you've had your chance, you've had your chance, and you've used it to spew lies. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, <laughs> I have been very clear in my position. Let me, don't, don't interrupt. I've been very clear in my opposition to the Muslim Brotherhood and to President Morsi. I was, in fact, in Egypt uh, to vote as an Egyptian, and I voted against both Morsi and the remnant of the Mubarak regime, who was his well, opponent, you've been a, Shafiq. Tell me and where this administration, the by the way, you're not that relevant Egypt. other than your role in the Muslim Brotherhood. However, this administration is relevant on an armchair, in our national security. Off lies. Our national I'm a lot more security relevant is relevant you are in the Egyptian well, well, context and more than you can ever dream of being. Hang on a second. Ahmed, are you a member of the Muslim Brotherhood? No, I'm not a member of the Muslim Brotherhood. Are you, Sean? Do you no? Will you I, condemn I their ideology? Dr. Jasser just said that. Did you just say that, Dr. Jasser? Con Absolutely. Council on American Islamic Relations is part of the you Islamist don't know movement about. globally, I've run and he was marching in the streets in, in Cairo as part of the Islamist movement. I got a final question. 
I, me, I, I'm allied with the progressive Ahmed, liberal condemn, movement in Egypt. Condemn I will not Islamism demonize, for us. Will you stand will against political Islam? I will not condemn or demonize those who, with whom I disagree in Egypt. We will move forward on the principles of this revolution, which is freedom, Islamism dignity, will not and move social forward. justice. Islamism that is, is what a we're committed to. We're not ideology in the business of sensational the talking East. points like you are, Zuhdi, which you get paid to do as a sock puppet for the Islamophobia that's, movement. Oh, that's great. When you have nothing else, all you do is stoop to attacks rather than deal with the subject. It's no, clear you, your character you, you is such that you don't know how to deal with the subject and which are the ideological sensational. As always, thank you for being with us. Let not your heart be troubled. Greta's next to go on the record. See you tomorrow night.